Tired and out of your mind from the anime industry bombarding you with isekai and overpowered characters with action-packed scenes, hack and slash, and the occasional demon lords? Well, you guys are in luck, because today we won't have any of this. Instead, we will sit back, relax, enjoy the scenery, and take a break from it all. Because today, we're going to be going through our slice of life list. That is why for today we will be talking about the top 10 slice of life anime you need to watch. So, before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, be aware of the following spoilers. Coming in at number 10 is Binchotan. I'm sorry to say guys, I gotta say it, this anime is just too damn kawaii. The chibi-sized girls with the big dreamy eyes are just so cute and adorable. The anime is about the magical daily life of Bin Chotan, a supposed orphan that lives in a secluded house in the mountains. She is also able to shrink herself to an even smaller size than she already is to the point she can fit in a shoe or on the back of a duck. Each episode in the series is split into two individual stories, so over the course of half an hour, the viewer is shown two chapters in Bin Chotan's life. Surprisingly, this works rather well, especially as this is purely a slice of life show. Over the course of the series, the viewer is given a taste of Bin Chotan's life. Coming in number 9 is Shin Ryaku, Ika Muzume. A fish out of the water is the last thing you ever want to be. However, that is exactly what this squid girl ended up becoming. After her inability to endure the negligence of humanity to the sea and the pollution they caused, this squid girl decided to take matters into her own hands and invade the human race, enslaving them as revenge for all the pollution they caused in the sea. One teeny tiny little problem though. She doesn't know the first thing about humanity or human societies, and has no one backing up her plan to invade the human race whatsoever. Adding insult to injury after destroying the wall of a beach restaurant, the scary owner forced her to work as a waitress there until she pays her debt for the wall she destroyed. I guess her world domination plans will be put on hold for a while. Coming in number 8 is Mira no Kaikata. This series is for all pet lovers and exotic pet fans, even though this can never happen, but just imagine the possibilities of having a palm-sized mummy as a pet. This anime is all about exotic pets and how to raise them. I mean, it's not like you can go on Google and look up what do mummies eat or how to take care of them, so you can consider the show as your personal how to raise your pet mummy 101. The main character's father is an explorer and he is the one that sent him the mummy from Egypt. Usually things end in disasters when it comes to his father's gifts, but this one seems different and will make quite the impact on the main character's life and yours as well. Coming in number 7 is Achikochi. Welcome to yet another I love him yet he is clueless kind of anime. Featuring Mina Wasumiki, the head over heel sugare, and Io Otanashi, the clueless dumbass that she is in love with, everyone in their school sees them as a couple too and wants to get them together. Io, however, has no idea what is happening around him and doesn't get any of the signals Minawa throws at him. He is also quite friendly in his behavior with Minawa and gives her head pats all the time, which flusters her and causes her hair to change and become like cat ears. Overall, the whole anime is about her throwing signals at him and Io dodging them like a boss. It's funny, it's cute, and has a plot. Everything you would want from a slice of life anime, so be sure to check it out soon. Coming in number 6 is Amama to Inazuma. This one is quite the wholesome slice of life anime. As we know, living in this world and raising a family is quite a tough job to say the least. And sometimes mistakes in raising the children can be catastrophic whether physical or mental. This requires a lot of care and attention. However, our poor main character here lost his wife and found himself being a single dad for his daughter taking care of her, working, and doing house chores. There is just too much that a person can handle add to the fact that the father has no idea how to cook and has been feeding his daughter ready to eat meals from convenience stores all this time. It all changed however after his student that obviously likes him and has a crush on him asks him to come over to their restaurant and have a nice hot meal with his daughter. Right after the first visit and after much insistence and pleading from his student, he accepts her request to always come by and make food and eat it together. This is a wholesome journey of a single dad trying to learn the skills he needs to take care of his young daughter. Coming in number 5 is Minami K. Girls are quite the complicated beings. They usually say something, yet they mean the direct opposite of it, and it's up to us to decipher which is which. This anime doesn't have just one girl or even two, this anime revolves around three who are sisters and live in the same house together with no adult supervision. There is the eldest, the strict and diligent Haruka, 
middle one, the lively and airheaded Kana, arguably the laziest one of the sisters, and last but not least, the youngest one with the razor sharp tongue, Chiaki. These sisters are going to change the way you define fun and laughter. There is just not a single dull moment in the show thanks to these three. Calling the show fun and entertaining is just an understatement to this anime, and it deserves much more than this. And just a heads up, just in case you do enjoy the wackiness of these sisters, then I have some good news for you guys. Actually, this is only one out of four seasons, and who knows? Some might be added later on in the future as well. All we can do is hope for the best and watch the shows that come out. Coming in number 4 is Bokura wa Mina Kawaiso. Kuzunari Usa is given the chance of becoming his own man and living in a complex on his own, he finds a complex with some of the weirdest people to live with ever, period. His roommate is a masochist and a pervert, a borderline alcoholic office lady that hates couples because of her shitty luck at getting guys, and a seemingly innocent university student who enjoys leading men on. Of course, the most logical thing to do after seeing all these figures living in the complex is to run as far as he could. But he did the exact opposite of that and decided to stay. Why, you ask? Well, it's freaking love, of course. Love at first sight, too. The poor guy fell in love with the shy senior student Ritsu Kawaii, and due to that he stayed in that nuthouse to be close to her and get to know her better. This is gonna be quite the eventful anime bringing light to the lives of all the complex residents and the drama, fun, and sorrow that comes with it. Let's just hope he survives this crazy nuthouse long enough to admit to Ritsu that he likes her. Coming in number 3 is Udon no Kuni no Kiniro Kamari. Escaping the bustling and rowdy city of Tokyo, this main character gets much more than what he bargained for after returning to his hometown, Kagawa. This main character, upon reminiscing the times he had spent with his parents in this town at home and in their udon restaurant, discovers a little boy sleeping inside of it. He doesn't give it much thought on the identity of the kid at first, but the main character feeds him, gives him clothes, and once he was done he discovers that the boy had a tail and furry ears. Revealing himself to be the mystical tanuki that lives in their village, a tanuki in Japan is like the spirit of a raccoon dog, in case you guys didn't know, and the main character then decides to keep the child and raise him. He even gives him the name Poco. The whole show was about them discovering their father-son bond and experiencing what the main character's father felt raising him. And Poco is quite the cutie, especially with his interactions. Him trying to talk and his overall kawaii looks and outfits, he is just a little bundle of joy on feet. And I bet this anime will turn your frown upside down when you watch it. So if you are feeling somewhat overwhelmed by life and need a break, then I definitely recommend this anime for you guys. Coming in at number 2 is Kumicho Musume to Seba Gakari. Being in a gang comes with its perks and advantages. Toru Kirishima, the demon of the Sakuragi clan, is their most powerful member and most violent one too. He enjoys letting his violent tendencies loose when it comes to his Yakuza missions, until however he is given a mission of utmost importance that neither includes beating or killing anyone. Instead, all he has to do is babysit his boss's daughter, after he messes up on a mission and jeopardizes the lives of his crew. This mission was given to him to humble him and teach him a lesson about what it feels like to be responsible for someone's life. The Yakuza gang's leader daughter is quite the adorable girl. Silent and keeps to herself, so getting to know her more and connecting with her will be quite the challenge for our hot-headed punching machine. Who knows, maybe they will finally get along and realize that family isn't only by blood. And number one goes to Eve no Jikan. Like many other movies and anime in the genre, this anime taps into the ever-eternal question, can droids ever be human? The droids in this world, even though they look human, are treated less than that and are seen as nothing but household appliances. Appliances. The androids, however, no matter how badly they are treated, they can never retaliate since they are bound by the three robotic rules to never harm humanity and do all they are ordered to do no matter what. In this world, however, exist those who seek further than what is presented on the surface and are interested to learn about the droids. One of those in the main character of the show and his intrigue and interest is piqued right after he receives a secret message via his household keeper droid to visit a cafe called Eve no Jikan. This cafe abides with only one rule, treat droids the same way you treat humans with no distinction whatsoever. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I had fun making it for you, and I would appreciate it if you guys would smash that like button, subscribe, comment, and press on that bell icon to keep yourself notified about all our latest new videos and upcoming projects. Also, don't forget to tell me in the comments down below about the anime you have watched on this list and if you are planning to watch any of them. And if you have any cool ideas for upcoming videos, don't be shy, share them in the comments down below. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.